Hi everybody, Rochelle Jones, Grief Recovery with Rochelle. So, I haven't put out a lot of information lately. I have been a bit on a slow, on a pause. Um, I have a lot of my own grief and things happening, which isn't that the thing, you know? Um, we can know how to do a certain thing, um, help people, but it doesn't mean that pain will avoid us, right? That uh, me as a specialist, I have to use my own tools and I have to use them a lot, unfortunately. Um, pain comes my way too. And uh, I've just kind of needed this slow down, this pause. And I was wondering, you know, for you, when you're weighed down, when, when things are on your plate, you know, do you give yourself space? space to feel, space to recover, space to grieve, space to um, just catch up. Do you do that? I, I know so much of my life I did not. I just, you know what, if I'm, if I'm um, sleeping, I'm dead, I used to say, or I'll sleep when I'm dead, or, uh, you know, I don't know, all the weird messages I used to tell myself that I just, just keep going, just keep moving, just, you know, work hard, keep my nose down and work hard. And there is a season for that, sure, there are times for that, but there are also times where when we're grieving, just like I've talked about in the past, where we're wounded and down and we just need to take pauses. Do you do that? Um, you probably can't tell, but I'm in a different place than I normally am. My brother's moving to town, which I'm so excited, my baby brother, I'm so excited. At the same time, I have so much grief in a different few sections of my life. And did you even know that? Did you even know that you are allowed to feel both things at one time? That feeling, you know, gladness and joy in one situation does not erase the heartache and the sadness in another? Did you know that? humans are so beautifully complex that we can feel both at the same time and so i just mainly am wondering do you recognize when you need to slow down do you even hear that and if you do hear that do you listen do you make it happen do you give your body the pauses the mind the heart the pauses that it could really use when it's going through life, heavy amounts of it. You know, some feel joyful and light and some feel heavy. And uh, we as specialists, we're not immune. I particularly am, I guess, obsessed with this grief recovery method. And, and so that's another point to make about the grief recovery method. It is evidence-based, it is, it works. Um, but it, it works, you know, as long as we use it. I use it consistently, you know, I can't brush my teeth one time and expect that they're going to be clean for the rest of my life. I can't get a shower one time and expect that, you know, I'm gonna be clean for the rest of my life. I, I can't work out one time and expect to be healthy for the rest of my life or eat properly or well or healthy one time and expect that to go well for the rest of my life. No, I have to have a practice of that, a healthy, regular, practice of it. And so the grief recovery method is the same, you know, it's evidence-based, absolutely, but it does take regular practice with it. It does take regular use of its tools and actions, you know, just because we've gone through a class one time, um, you know, a year or six months ago or 10 years ago, we are not immune to having grief show up again. Um, it, it's intended to be a set of tools and actions that we use for the rest of our life when our life is hurting, when we when we find um, ourselves juggling between what we wish could be different and what actually is. And I currently, like I said, I'm in a huge bubble of pain myself and um, use that grief recovery method too. So I will be doing my work just like I teach you all here uh, this evening. I should have some time to be able to sit down and and write out those things that I need to do. And then I'll be calling a heart with ears and getting some time on the books with them to do my own completion work because I'm just as human as the rest of you. 
which is also how I know this method works. So I hope that you remember that. If you've gone through a class or you're going through a class, remember we are alumni, meaning we've gone through the class, but we are also not above or immune from needing to do additional work. Maybe we choose to go through another class, another type of class. I have been through so many different classes and trainings because I just, feel that I've never done. I read that grief recovery method handbook, that purple handbook that comes with your class. If you'd like a copy, let me know and I'll get one out to you. Um, but I never stop reading that or I also have it digitally and CDs. I don't use the CDs anymore. I use the digital version. Um, I'm so thankful for that. Thank you grief recovery method for putting that out. Um, but I've never stopped listening to it. It's who am I to think that I could read something one time and know all the details and facets of it? Who am I to do a class or a practice one time and believe that I know all the tools and facets of it and, and that I am permanently healed for the rest of my life? Amen. Hallelujah. No, that doesn't work. It takes a healthy practice and, and really we are deceiving ourselves if we can go through it once or maybe even twice or whatever and believe that we'll never need to use these tools or actions again. So I hope that um, it reminds you to sit down and pause and feel your life. And usually when you do that, you're going to find that, hey, there's something in there that can be kind of painful that's taking me out of the joy. And sometimes there's this battle back and forth between joy, gladness, happiness, sadness, despair, defeat. We have a battle going on all of the time and it doesn't always feel good. So for those times that don't feel good, if you are so tired of the battle like I can be, Pick up your book, go back through it, do your actions again, do it again and again and again until you find steady ground. And guess what? When you find steady ground, it's going to shake again. You'll need to pick up your tools and actions again, okay? So I hope this inspires you, encourages you, and just also lets you know that you're not alone. I have my own loads of grief recovery um, work that I have to do because I do grieve on the regular. So I love you very, very much. Thank you for letting me do this work with you, but also thank you for recognizing that I have to do it too and not hating me for it. We're just human together on this world. I love you all. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.